Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at the proof of this orbit stabilizer theorem. So remember that for G, if it is given to be a finite group having permutations taken from the set S, then for any a member i from s we may define the order of group g as the order of orbit of that element i multiplied with the order of stabilizer of that element i so now because we know from the previous results that stabilizer of g in i is a subgroup of g it also contains permutations which keep the element i as fixed right this is the definition now if this is a subgroup so that means according to uh, if this is a subgroup, first of all, we may concede, uh, we may construct left or right coset of it, right? If that is so, if we are talking about coset, so this Lagrange's theorem come into picture. Now, according to this Lagrange's theorem here, if you remember, we have the number of distinct left cosets of some subgroup, which is stabilizer of particular element i in our case. In the group G, it is given by the order of the group G divided by the order of the subgroup which is nothing but the stabilizer of that particular element i so this represents the number of distinct left cosets of this stabilizer so now here we wanted to prove that in order to prove this result here we wanted to prove that this thing is equal to the order of the orbit of that particular element i so this is what we wanted to prove here right so that means in order to prove this equality here, it is sufficient for us to prove uh, this one to one corresponding between them. So that means we need to first of all define a uh, function right from this uh, from this thing, which is nothing but the left cosets, right? The number of left cosets to this orbit. And then we need to define this is well uh, well defined mapping. It is one to one and it is on to. Then we can say there is a one to one corresponding between the left cosets of the stabilizer of the, uh, some element i and the elements of the orbit of i. And hence we would have a result. So in order to do so, we first of all define a correspondence, which is nothing but a mapping t, right? From the coset, uh, now we are taking phi which is some permutation in g right uh, because g is some group of permutations of s so for this element g here we are multiplying it with our subgroup which is stabilizer of g in i so this represents our left coset right for this left coset here we are defining this mapping t such that this t takes this thing to the mapping phi of i now phi of i is what it is the image of i under this permutation so that means this would be a member of the uh, orbit of some element i here so this t gave us a mapping from phi stabilizer of g this is the left coset of the stabilizer and to phi of i which is some element in the orbit of that particular element i now we need to prove that this mapping t is well defined so in order to prove that this mapping is well defined we need to uh, consider and the inputs the domain to uh, two different domain ele elements so let's take them to be alpha stabilizer g of i and beta stabilizer of i under this group g right where what is alpha and what is beta alpha and beta are two different permutations which are taken from the group g and then we need to prove that their images are also the same what is the image here the image of the first one is alpha i and the so image of the second one is would be beta i so we need to prove the images are also equal to each other okay so for that what we need to do we consider this thing over here right if alpha stabilizer of i is equal to beta stabilizer of i so in this case from here we already know this result that a h is equal to b h the left coset a h if it is equal to the left coset b h then this would imply and is implied by a inverse b belongs to h right this thing would be there if and only if a inverse b also belongs to the subgroup h so in this case because our subgroup is the stabilizer of g so therefore this alpha inverse b beta would be a member of the stabilizer of i within the group g right now if this mapping this 
permutation belongs to stabilizer of g what does it mean by the definition of stabilizer stabilizer contains all those permutations which keep which keep this element as fixed so that means and by the definition of stabilizer alpha inverse beta of i would give us i only right it would keep this element i as fixed now uh, multiplying uh, on both sides with alpha you would have this thing right so this thing becomes the identity permutation and identity permutation into beta is just beta so beta i is equal to alpha i and this is what we wanted to prove here so therefore t is well defined now in order to prove that this t is one to one we need to perform the reverse step so that means we start from the images and we will prove that the domain is also equal to each other so for this we assume this thing now this thing would apply alpha inverse beta of i is equal to i this thing would imply by the definition of stabilizer that this permutation alpha inverse beta would be there in the stabilizer now according to this result because this is an if and only if result we have a h is equal to b h so that implies alpha of stabilizer of g uh, of i is equal to beta stabilizer of i and this is what we wanted to prove here so this is the on to which which is proved just by taking the reverse right reverse steps now we wanted to prove that uh, this mapping t is also on to the orbit of i right so what do we do in order to prove the orbit we take some element suppose j is there in the orbit and we need to uh, find out some element corresponding to j which is present in the domain which is uh, what it is phi times of the stabilizer of i within g right so we need to find some element here for the element j here now if j is present in the orbit according to the definition of orbit of i it would give you l um, so j would be the image of some element i so we are assuming that the permutation is alpha for that case so alpha of i would be equal to j this is according to the definition of orbit of g now what is alpha i according to the mapping uh, your t was defined from alpha stabilizer of uh, uh, g uh, of i under g this thing was equal to alpha of i now alpha of i would give you alpha stabilizer of g, uh, i under g right so this thing is equal to alpha i and this thing is equal to j so that means for some j here in the range right you have some element here in the domain such that we have this mapping right so therefore the and this is true for all such j's right so therefore the, this mapping t is an on to mapping so because this mapping is well, uh, well well defined one one and on to so therefore we have a one to one correspondence between the left cosets of the stabilizer of i and the elements in the orbit of i right so therefore we have the order of g divided by the order of stabilizer of i is equal to the order of orbit of i and this is what we wanted to prove here in this theorem so i hope you understood this result well well that is it for this video thank you for watching